worse than Watergate. It is worse than Watergate. Hillary herself weighed in. She went to an old trusty excuse. It's a right wing conspiracy. It's funny, the more trouble Trump gets into, the wilder the charges and conspiracy theories about me seem to get. <laughs> Do you remember this? She's done it before. Hmm? Uh, in the late 1990s, remember what was going on around then? The great story here for anybody willing to find it and write about it and explain it is this vast right-wing conspiracy that has been conspiring against my husband since the day he announced for president. Vast right-wing conspiracy. That's what she said when the Monica Lewinsky thing was taking off. Vast right-wing conspiracy. Turned out, yeah, no, uh, they weren't making that up, okay? And they're not making this up about the Durham filing. This is serious. This is a big deal, and it's been misrepresented by the media. And it's not as complicated as has been presented. So we have this. You have the Clinton campaign. You have Michael Sussman. He's an attorney uh, working for the Clinton campaign, billing the Clinton campaign. And then you got tech executive one, whose real name is Rodney Jaffe. All right. Now, Rodney Jaffe is taking all kinds of data that he's assembling with his friends, the ones he works with, um, Private contractors, they're evaluating data from Trump Tower, from another building in New York City, and the executive office of the president, the White House, looking for derogatory information on Donald Trump. It is in the new filing. And Jaffe, not only was he spending time with Michael Sussman, he also has been reported to have links to Mark Elias. Mark Elias is a perhaps more than anyone in the country, even more than Joe Biden himself, is responsible for the election of Joe Biden. More on him later. So what did the, what did the liberal media do when this broke? They kept quiet. They had to figure out, okay, how do we spin this to our advantage? They waited a couple of days, and then they had the New York Times do their dirty work for them. There's a guy by the name of Charlie Savage who wrote, court filing started a furor in right-wing outlets, but their narrative is off track. Is it really? Um, first, they say this is all old news. Some of it we did know before, but it's not old news. Not the part that actually made news. Take a look. Charlie Savage of the New York Times is one of the reporters covering this story. His piece from Monday is titled, Court Filing Started a Furor in Right-Wing Outlets, but their narrative is off track. Uh, Charlie, thanks for coming on the show tonight. You write that much of the right-wing narrative is factually incorrect, but you also write that many parts of the narrative are old news. Explain that for us. Uh, well, the old news part was the basic thrust of this, that Michael Sussman, this yeah. lawyer, is being prosecuted by Durham. So for what he does is he goes through the indictment. And it's true. We had the indictment last September. And the mechanics of Tech Executive One, uh, Sussman, the FBI, the CIA, we knew that. But we did not know about the White House. We didn't know. It wasn't. Listen to how they address that. A very rare in the United States Russian-made smartphone had been connecting to networks inside Trump Tower, inside another building connected to Trump, inside some other places and inside the White House. We had at the New York Times reported that in a story about the uh, related to the Durham investigation in the Michael Sussman case back in October. No, they didn't. No, they did not. They did not report about the White House in October. You can look up the story, we have it. You can get it online. They don't mention anything about the White House and that's what makes this new filing sensational. And did you notice how quickly he spoke, how he tried to obscure it because it's not in the story? Listen. Inside some other places and inside the White House. What the hell was that, all right? trying to muddy the waters. There's more. Maybe I'm confused by all the technical stuff. If the White House internet monitoring happened only during the Obama years, what evidence would that offer about Trump? Well, we have, uh, we have Durham's portrayal of this, that they said this entire thing was about Trump. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. <laughs> maybe it was, maybe it was. 
Durham says the entire thing is about Trump. And the reporter, who knows the, uh, all the information so well, maybe it, do, maybe it does, maybe it wasn't, they're deliberately muddying the waters. And you know what? It's actually working to some extent. And our friends at Fox News, by the way, are getting a lot of this wrong and opening themselves to attack, and it makes this seem not as important as it is. They should get it together over there. Let's wrap up. The cybersecurity researchers had developed these anomalous data they had concerns about and had a theory about and had written up white papers saying, this is odd, what, what could this mean? Is there a sign of a, a Trump tie here or not? And eventually that paper makes it into Rodney Joffe's hands and then it makes it into Michael Sussman's hands and Sussman takes it to the CIA. All right, so Rodney Joffe gets this information with his colleagues and they think they might have some information that suggests that the White House, the Trump White House is compromised. So who do they bring it to? Sussman. And everybody knows that guy is a Clinton guy. Everybody knows it. And Jaffe, again, he goes to Mark Elias reportedly at one moment. And everybody knows that this is a way to get the Clinton through that lawyer. Even Morning Joe. Hillary Clinton, uh, there's not even any suggestion that Hillary Clinton had anything to do with any of this. They have Sussman, a guy that everybody in Washington, D.C. knew, was connected to the DNC and Hillary Clinton, including Republicans on the Hill. I mean, I could go on and on and on. On and on and on. Hillary is not yet in the clear. We don't know where this is going to go. And um, why would they go to that lawyer that everybody knew was a Democrat? Why would they do that? Jaffe and his team if they had real concerns about uh, the security of the White House. This is getting interesting, very interesting. Stay tuned.